Well, let's talk a little bit then about uh, kind of your pros and cons uh, and, and, you know, <laughs> how you want to work that. So let's put it to you this way. Mm. Best VR experience, hands down, goes to Zen. I don't think you would disagree with that at all either, would you, Jared? Absolutely. Zen yeah. is, the, it's just the winner on so many levels. They have put such a, a huge amount of effort into the lobby experience just the ease of just starting the game and playing yep. like you're in you're in a game in 10 seconds and like i probably. said it just worked it really uh, immediately tucked. it lined up with my controller i was playing it just worked downside very limited amount of tables <laughs> yeah and they're old builds the most recent oh, builds yeah, are all versatile builds. tables yep. like you've got the, the most recent ones are like you've got jaws back to the future um and uh what's the other one in that collection it's another one et et yeah that's that's why i forgot about it because i don't really like the table yeah. <laughs> so and you got walking dead as well um, which walking dead hands down has the coolest so all of environmental these effects. Yeah, environmental effects so all of these tables yeah. have environmental effects walking dead has a zombie kind of roaming around on your right hand side and when you ball out he comes up to the side of the table and leans his body over the entire play field and it's just a really cool 3D effect. Um, number two would be Jaws. I was playing that, and I'm like, how come there's not a shark? You know, because there's like water surrounding you. It's like, where's mm. the shark? And I balled out, and I looked down at my right ankle, and there was Jaws popping out of the, <laughs> of the water, chomping on the dock. And it kind of gave me a startle out because I just was not expecting it to be there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, it's really good. It's really cool. The environmental effects in those in these later tables... You can see how their their chops with VR has evolved. Yeah, because um, it would have been like the first, the core pack would have been, you know, just the you know, it was Secrets, Bio of, the or, or Secrets of the Deep, um, Epic Quest, and Mars. Paranormal, and then the second oh, yeah. pack was Paranormal, Biolab, and uh, I'm forgetting what the other one was. Ah. Uh. Yeah, it'll, me too. It'll come to me. Um, and then you've got, yeah, yeah you've got uh, the Universal Pack. So Back to the Future, E.T., Jaws, as well as uh, you've got the, uh, I never what they, know what they call it, but it's basically Castle Storm and the Wild West uh, yeah, the, pinball. Yeah, yeah. Um, so those, they're all, they look fantastic. They play fantastic. It's easy to get into. But yeah, like I said, limited amount of tables it's not the 96 tables you get in fx3 put it that way right right and the other yeah. thing is that because you only have three pinball tables in the room if you want to change those out you got to look back at the tv screen and then you got to go into the menu and select what tables are going to be preloaded into the room lock those in and then you're back into that and i wish that instead because if you look around the room there's all sorts of doors and I wish that mm. those doors had been another three set of tables. So all you would have to do is look at the door, go, I'm on in there, and whoosh, And you could almost like have the rooms as pack rooms, then they could theme them in that way as well. Yeah. Um, if this was FX3, it would really be that way. Each room to. would basically be your column that you're used yeah, to it, in FX3. It would be. Now, the interesting thing about how you say you you've, you switch between tables yes. is on the, on the Quest 2, is when you're in that main room, what you can do is look at a table and use the trigger button, your your, your um, um, middle, your root finger, uh -huh. and and you can flick between the tables and select what three tables you want to have. Oh, that is much tables. nicer. You just go flick, 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 and you can get your top three hot tables in okay. there. So you're always See, at least they thought there. of. Okay, so again, mm -hmm. software has changed with them putting it on the Quest Two. Um, there yeah. has been adjustments compared to me playing on the Rift. So, um, okay. Well, that's good to know that at least they've addressed that a little bit. I still would think it'd be cool to have just the rooms, but I think it's like that on the on the Rift as well. Is that you don't have the um, the handsets that's connected. True. If you had if you had those connected, you could flip between them as well. All right. Well, I'll have to get back to you guys if I connect those up at some point, which I'm not going to. Which you uh, won't. <laughs> yeah. Now, <laughs> compare that to <clears throat> Zachariah where literally every table is available in VR. Yeah. Every one. And here's how stupid the pricing is. If you already own all the tables, 
I picked up the entire VR package for three dollars. It's three bucks. Three bucks. It is. That's it. It says fourteen ninety nine like, for the VR, but then it figures out what you already own, and it charged me three dollars. So I'm sorry for three dollars to get that many Zacharia tables in 3D. The entire collection. We're talking over a hundred and ten tables. If you own them all, damn. <laughs> uh, that's yeah. From from a cost of entry perspective, like. It is unbeatable. <laughs> you you I mean, can't you've got content argue. for days. You're going to. Yeah. You, I'm sure that you'll figure out exactly where to put the sensor. You'll muck through all those issues that I was talking about, and then yeah. have a wonderful time playing ample amounts of pinball. <laughs> like all those things that I've said about the Zacharia VR experience with the menu being weird and stuff like that. Like you get used to it. Like it's not it's not game breaking stuff. It yep. is a bit weird, and like if you are doing a like for like comparison, it's not as good. But for three bucks, like they've done an amazing job. The thing I like about it, like it's almost like they've when they've been modeling the room that you're in. Um, if you if you're in the room and you look to the left, oh yeah, there's some cabinets and oh. stuff. Look to the right, there's like a couch. But if you look around to the back. It's literally a warehouse that they've set up this set in. I was and like, there's it's a, a direct set. stairs. <laughs> it is just, it is like they've gone, yeah, you know what? We're not, we, it's VR, but guess what? We're not making a complete broom out of this. You You're know what's, you know like what's a, funny about that, Jared? Is for people that have, uh, with Pinball Arcade, for people that were doing the cabinet mod, they were able yeah. to manipulate and look anywhere in the room in order to be able to do that. Farsight did the exact same thing. It's oh, really? Yep. Yeah. It's a three wall. It's a three wall set, and there is no roof. And you can even see that sometimes in reflection. You can see like the lighting that would have been above. Um, yeah. Yep. So I mean, it's not exactly uncommon. I don't think. <laughs> I think it's. I think it's like, it, it's. It just shows to me that. The, the Magic Pixel dudes have a bit of a sense of humor because <laughs> they've gone, you know, let's let's not, you know, go nuts here. All you care about is the pinball. That's what you're here for. Yeah. Let's make it look like you're in a, like a, a nice room. And you can change the environments and everything. They give you a heap of options you can mess around with in, in there as well. Which is kind but, of Magic Pixel's thing. Yeah. An overload of options. <laughs> yeah. Um, and this is the thing, like if they could just give you some really nice presets in the game, you'd be able to get in there and have a very similar experience to to Zen's offering. And like you can get in there, I just want to start a game, get in there, it knows what your position is. Like if they just made like again, I'm not expecting this at all for three bucks, but if they if they got in there and just made some tweaks, uh, it would be a comparable experience to Zen. Um, if they got it right. Like, because the the work that they've done on the tables, it clearly shows. Well, it would simply of... come down to again pushing the X button to reset where you are, following Zen's model, which is no matter what direction my headset is facing, no, it doesn't matter where the sensor is, that it centers up to that, rather mm -hmm. than me having to center myself to the the sensor itself. Um, That's right. And then, unfortunately. You know, I have a problem in general with Zacharias menus, even in the you know just the standard app. And these are the mm -hmm. exact same menus. The, all the problems that I have with their menus there, um, just such as when I push a back button, don't ask me, are you sure? And then highlight the no, so that I have to do an extra button push to go yes. Um, yeah. <laughs> that's in, the, it, it's the exact same menu system. So there are definite yeah. tweaks that they should do. They should be looked, they should have looked at this in VR themselves. Because it feels like they never put a headset on. Otherwise, mm, they would have like gone, gone, ow! <laughs> or maybe. Or maybe they would have thought, oh, this is cool. Everything's like really... like You don't know what this, what's going through right. their minds when they're making this thing. They, they they surely would have tested it. They would have had to. Sure, I'm sure. Um, test it. So I think it's just their perception of what they think is, is cool versus perhaps what other people think is cool. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Again, yeah, fourteen ninety nine. Yeah. If you don't own, if you don't own a lot of Zen tables, it's probably going to still be fourteen ninety nine. They give you some tables. Yeah. They give you a package of tables so that you can be playing in VR. And then as you buy tables 
um, you know, they'll be in, available in VR. But if you already yeah. owned all the VR or all the Zacharia tables, three bucks. Um, so this is this whole like prorated system is actually a good thing to remember with Steam in general. Is that if someone is offering a bundle discount, um, like for example, Zen offers you a bundle discount on packs, and you're between Steam sales or whatever, and you just want to buy tables. Uh, Steam is clever enough to work out what you do and don't own and you'll still get the discount applied to anything that you don't have in that bundle. So you get the best of both worlds if you're doing these bundle buys. Yeah. I didn't realize that until I'd experienced how the pro rating system works with VR. I'm sure this is not news to everyone else on Steam. I'm probably a, a curmudgeon here and very late to this <laughs> information, but it really surprised me that you can get really good value by buying a bundle and don't be scared about having all the, the games in there because it will just work it out for you. Yeah. It's really, really neat. Look at Stern VR. Uh, pro on that. It's free. That's a huge uh, Yeah. Point. The price of entry is you can't argue with that. Right. And um, um, yeah. and on top of that, you're going to be getting to the ability to play things like Ghostbusters, ACDC, uh, Star Trek. Uh, oh, ACDC, know. unfortunately. <laughs> unless you own it. I'm just, I'm just saying that... Oh, yeah, that's right. Unless you own ACDC. If you if you bought them before they um, lost the rights to sell it, yes, you can play it. But the frustrating thing at the moment is, and this is one of the major gripes in the reviews, is like, so you show me that ACDC is available in the menu, yet when I click on the item to actually access it, I, it says this item is no longer available. It's like, well, if it's not there, remove it for people oh, who can't have it. Right. You know? I didn't, but the I thing didn't is, it's really hard playing to do it. That. <laughs> Yeah, I because well, they have three versions in there. They have mm -hmm. the regular version, they have Back in Black, and they have Lucy, I think. Yeah. Um, so, like, I, of course, you want to play Lucy because it's the best version. Um, and, um, yeah, I couldn't get access to it. So, it's like three games out of the... I, 12. Uh, yeah, 12. So, it's like pretty much a quarter of the collection you can't play um, if you're a late adopter to this, which is pretty frustrating. Um, um, the other thing that I've found that even on my really high spec gaming PC, which plays Zen and um, Zachariah without any glitches whatsoever, when I went to play Ghostbusters and Stern VR, it was jittery as heck. Um, in multi ball, it was like like janky as. Uh, and I remember that when this thing was ported to mobile, they had all sorts of performance issues with it. And I think those performance issues have flowed into the PC version as well, uh, or at least the VR version. I wouldn't be surprised if that was the case. Mm. Um, so like you said, free. Beyond that, the app fights me constantly. I have even bothered placing the sensor directly in front of me and it's still not lining up with me so that I have to physically pick up my controller to get lined up it uh if i try turning on rumble on my controller it crashes the entire app there is a yeah. uh earn tokens thing challenge mm. um you get three tries on each table in order to beat it and if you don't then you're supposed to reset the challenge every time i reset the challenge it crashes the app yeah it and does i crash can't reset i can't i can't play that mode anymore it like literally yeah, can't play it it's broken you get one um, shot. Yeah. That's it. Um, no, I actually went in there and, um, like, side story to that, I went in and reported that in the Discord chat for Farsight. Mm -hmm. And I thought, oh, I've logged in because I wanted to get on the FX3 uh, Discord. And I thought, oh, this is still in my profile. Uh, I'll have a look in there. There was some updates there from Rob, who goes by the name of Flippy Floppy. So I thought, no, oh, what the heck? I'll, I'll, I'll speak and yell into the void <laughs> and put a message up there. And it flippy floppy responded saying oh yeah i think um i reported that their challenge modes don't reset you know is it even is it ridiculous of me to ask that we fix that up as a like pretty bad bug that crashes the app is oh yeah we're gonna have to go into the app pretty soon and do some updates on it quote unquote was what we got from flippy floppy now don't count what, on it <laughs> no no but this is the concern i have where in the Stern license position are they with Ghostbusters, Star Trek, and Mustang? What would those updates potentially be? 
would, would it be taking those out of the game if you don't own them? I hope not. Wow. Because there's n- not much motivation to go into that app apart from those. Yeah. Um, because one uh, of the other tables that they have, folks, is Last Action Hero. And it does not play well. It's like plays slow. And oh, it's floaty as anything. It's horrible. It's very floaty. And it has incredibly terrible sound. Like, and Jared pointed out one thing, and I have completely forgotten about it. Well, they had to get rid of the ACDC song that plays during the entire game. Yeah. So they replaced that, but all the audio is muddled. And I was like, why is it muddled? And Jared pointed out, well, it's still in mono. And that is the thing with the Stern app. Everything is still mono. Yeah. It's not in stereo. All your mechanical effects of the table are mono. All the audio, mono. You listen to both Zachariah and Zen, all your mechanical effects are stereo. A stereophonic, it yeah. It brings you into the environment. So, yeah. I mean, it, I, I don't want to, you know, piss all over <laughs> Farsight's parade here, but it's a pretty terrible app. Um, it's it's good that it's free. And yep. as much as I, I like... The, the games, the, the the new games, so Ghostbusters, Star Trek in particular, um, and Mustang, they they all translate really nice in 3D. I think Star Trek by far and is the winner. Um, the other neat thing with the CERN app, and this is, I think, the only app you can do this easily with, is you can turn down the room brightness and play in the dark. Oh yes, the ambient room is pretty pretty nice touch. Yes. It's very nice touch. Like it I played like uh yeah, both um uh Ghostbusters and Star Trek with the with the lights turned down. You can't turn them off, you can turn them down. And it's it's really nice. Like it's they've done a real nice job with the lighting. And I have to give them a tick for that. 